this is a patron vote winner and the theme was changes and it's emblematic of Arr. one of the hugest changes in history and what makes it special is these guys were there The most iconic whistle. Whistling is a bit of a weird fascination of mine. When I was younger, I was doing a play and we had to do a TV show to promote it. And side note on the TV show, there was Vanilla Ice. But also there was this champion whistler. His name was David Morris. And he was amazing. He was initially a cornet player and wanted to work out if he could whistle some of the tunes that he played on cornet and could. And I was like, how does he make such a specific sound? Our mouth and our vocal tract has a certain frequency in which the molecules of air vibrate at. And you can change that frequency by changing the shape of your vocal tract. So you can try it by going And if you change your mouth a bit, maybe to an E vowel, You might hear a change of pitch in your breath, but when you whistle, you create a little funnel and the air is compressed and the air molecules move faster as it creates a jet and vortexes of air come out. It's so amazing that we can do that. And singing's even more complex, so I find it so incredible. But with this song, what I love about it is it gives it this kind of everyday carefree attitude and it's a sound that everyone can make. It means that it starts this song with this idea that the song is for everyone. And all, this whistle almost got cut when they went to go and put this song out in the US. The record executives were like, oh, whistling isn't cool. But they fought to keep the whistle in. And it wasn't for any particular reason. It's just that it sounded kind of cool. But I think it's absolutely perfect for this intro. <laughs> love the whistling so much. He has such a balanced tone. It is both warm, it has a little bit of twang, perhaps a little bit of nasal resonance that comes through, but that, that balance between the warm and the cutting, twangy, trebly sound just makes it feel balanced and really really safe which is so important for a song like this because it's all about hope and as soon as it becomes unsafe in the tone then we're moving away from that emotion i love how he uses different vowels change he's going to a narrow e on the end to me that narrowing makes it constrict or it compress a little bit which adds a little bit of tension into that sound it's such a musical metaphor for the the tension that we go through through a massive change then he opens it up and he adds that grit again that is such a musical metaphor for the grit and the hardship that has been faced and that distortion is a really interesting distortion he puts it on, takes it off whenever he wants, and that's really difficult, but he's also creating that, I think, at the laryngeal level, and then opening up and creating this big open space, perhaps a bit of lift at the back. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's distortion. Okay. 
It's so opposite because often I'd say change as an open vowel to make it a bit easier, but change just, oh, it closes it in. And note that he's not squeezing any muscles. His breath isn't being pushed. It's just narrowing that vowel slightly is enough to give you that feeling of, of tension. Emotional tension, but not physical tension. <laughs> It feels so pertinent now, right? beautifully done and it, it's making me quite emotional because of the story behind it because they are a band from West Germany and this was written just after the fall of the Berlin Wall and everything that happened around that it was a, about that change and it requires a lot of musical mastery to hold such a big subject and they're certainly doing that the rhythm section is so tight so spot on on. You've got Klaus's vocals there, they're solid, they're balanced, he has such ease on those high notes but there's that really high harmony and I'm not sure who's singing it but it is so perfect. It's really hard to sing that high but to sing that high and keep it really light. It's breathy, it's light yet it cuts through enough and harmonies are really important that you are not kind of standing out like a sore thumb it's about blending with the lead vocalist and matching the contours of the voice of the lead vocalist it's done so well so so well and finally i really love that everyone is singing along it just adds to that feeling of unity there with their lighters singing along it's perfect so perfect <laughs> I love how you can hear his accent a little as well. The harmony is so nice! Now a bit of history here and a bit of unusual history here. Scorpions had a gesture of presenting a gold record and $70,000 of royalties to Mikhail Gorbachev. Now I'd suggest you go and look at the history of all of this. And interestingly now they have changed the lyrics to be about the Ukraine war. This song is still making its mark on the world, it's still calling for peace, it's still calling for togetherness and unity and I think I mean, what a beautiful song. And apparently it all just came to him while he was sitting in Gorky Park, what she sings about in the song. And it came to him in a piece, an entire sort of melody and words all came out at once. And I think a lot of the greatest songs in the world, there seems to be a theme. It's like, it comes, it comes from somewhere that is beyond anything humans can fully understand. <laughs>
so much cohesion. Ooh, that's interesting. He has a really distinct way of holding his mic. So he's like, sing, 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 mic away, sing, 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 mic away. Why is he doing that? Breaths hold so much emotion. So if you're like, <gasps> it can make it feel quite jumpy. It can put us on edge. You might want something a little bit more smooth, especially for something like this, which is hopeful. You don't want a kind of quick breath or a jaggedy breath in there because it takes you away from the emotion that he wants to portray. However, it also might be just something that he dislikes in general. He th doesn't like the breaths. I'm personally a lover of the emotion in breaths, but in this case, I understand why you wouldn't want it. Some people hate, hate those breaths and find them a bit irritating, and I understand that too. Before we listen to the end here, there is another interesting couple of vowel things. At the end of every word, he is basically not pronouncing the last consonant. Gorky pa, never. He's making it like an uh vowel apart from change. And that has that focus and that energy towards the end of the word. So you really hear that. <laughs> Instead of ever. Uh. And then I focus again. Well, the whistle's kind of like the wind, isn't it, as well? I like it. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love these little ad-libs. Those ad-libs are so, and ad-libs are just improvisations. They're so gentle, yet they cut through. And again, it just gives this feeling of joy without being overwhelming. It's kind of interesting because often in songs you'll hear those and they'll be pushed really far forward in the mix. But here, it's, it's back a little bit and it shows how many great singers are in this band. And there's a lovely, entrance when we go into the chorus here where Klaus comes in and then it comes in straight afterwards and it makes me feel like I'm leading this unity and then everyone's like yeah I'm joining in and it kind of joins in bit by bit I love that let's listen to it It's so good. got me in the end again. <laughs> I'm a person that avoids the news but it feels like whenever I do turn it on there's something that feels <laughs> very far away from this song so it's really emotional because I think humanity have been searching for the same thing for a long time and we're not quite there yet but feeling the unity of this song, seeing how the audience reacts 
and knowing that it's even possible to feel it in that small moment means it is possible in a bigger moment in the wider world and that's what this song gives us it gives us that hope that it can be beyond beyond just this song i think it can before you go, I have just released my very own album, Fable. I would love if you could check it out. There's a few songs available here on YouTube and on Spotify, and I'm really proud of it. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.